welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video spots blemishes scars such as acne scars scars from scratches and bruises now guess what today i have a wonderful remedy for you and here it is this is it right here i put a lot of love in this i made this remedy out of ingredients that are known to clear the skin of all hyperpigmentation acne scars whether it is scratch and bruises whether it is dark patches on the skin you name it this is going to do wonders for you now another wonderful thing about this awesome goodness is that i also use ingredients in this so that when you use it on your face especially it's gonna help with all the wrinkles and fine lines this is also gonna get rid of the large pores and if you have any form of a acne going on it's gonna help to clear the skin from those hyperpigmentation because this has antibacterial properties and anti-inflammatory properties now this is an overnight cream that once you apply it to your skin on a regular at night in no time your skin is not only going to be free from spots and blemishes but your skin is going to be tight bright and supple so if you're interested in this video continue watching our first ingredient is aloe vera gel and here I have two kinds I have the bottle gel and I have the fresh aloe vera leaf it's up to you whichever is available to you you can use either or in this recipe now aloe vera has antibacterial properties it is also anti-inflammatory aloe vera is loaded with antioxidant that is great for the skin it is great for removing scars and blemishes from the skin it is also moisturizing aloe vera also have to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines from the skin Skin. so aloe vera in this recipe is actually great for the skin overall our second ingredient is onion and this is red onion use whatever kind of onion you have they all have the same property except the red onion is a little less pungent now onions are known to lighten and brighten the skin the juice have to fade any form of pigmentation and scars it is anti-inflammatory and it also has antibacterial properties our next ingredient is tomato and tomato is known to help to get rid of blemishes from the skin it will help to lighten the skin tomato also will help to get rid of those large pores by cleaning out those pores tomato will also brighten and lighten the skin now here we have some oils that we're going to be using in this recipe I have vegetable glycerin which I'm going to use to help to preserve the remedy and it is also great for moisturizing the skin I'm also going to be using some sweet almond oil and sweet almond oil is known to help to get rid of scars and blemishes sweet almond oil will help to moisturize the skin leaving the skin clean and supple I'm also going to be using some carrot seed oil and this has a lot of vitamin A which is retinol so even though you are getting rid of all the spots and blemishes from the skin this is going to help to tighten the skin and it is also going to help to get rid of of wrinkles and fine lines now for these three oils you could substitute you could substitute vitamin E oil for the vegetable glycerin and you can use some coconut oil or some avocado oil for the sweet almond oil however for our carrot seed butter if you do not have carrot seed butter use carrot seed oil or just go ahead and use some vitamin A oil in the recipe now our final ingredient in this recipe is cornstarch and cornstarch is what we're going to use to hold everything together however cornstarch is great for drying the skin especially if you have oily skin it is also great for getting rid of acne it's just going to keep your skin clear and supple you're going to need a blender you're going to need a strainer and you're also going to need a jar for storing so here we have our halo leaf, we have our onion, and we also have our tomato. We are going to be blending these, so first I'm going to prepare them. You really do not need a lot, since whatever we're making is going to last just about 10 days. So for our halo, I'm using about 2 ounces of aloe vera gel, fresh gel. 
if you're using the bottle gel use two tablespoons and I'm just gonna extract the gel which is pretty easy just slide in the knife right under the upper leaf and this is it this is our aloe vera gel and as I said about two ounces or so we're gonna put this aside we're gonna prepare our tomato for this tomato I'm gonna use only a half of a medium tomato really do not need a lot and I'm gonna chop this since we're gonna be blending this also now once this is chopped we're gonna mix it with our aloe vera gel now we're gonna prepare our onion and this is a small onion I'm gonna use about a half of this so first I'm just gonna cut it so I'm just gonna use a half so I'm gonna peel the outer layer and here we have our half of a small onion and I'm gonna chop this also for blending whoopsie and here it is and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna place it in the bowl with the other ingredient so here in this bowl I have my honey and I have my tomato and at the bottom here I have the aloe vera gel so now I'm gonna blend all these three ingredients together so we're just gonna place this in the blender do not add water to this you're gonna get enough liquid from your onion and also from your tomato so we're just gonna cover this And here it is, and now we're gonna strain. So just strain. Now here we have our juice. So this is our tomato, our aloe vera, and our onion blend. Now we're gonna warm this. And to warm this, you could choose to warm it on a double boiler, or you could choose to warm it in the microwave for a few seconds. Now here we have our plastic container, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill this with hot water, really boiling water, okay? So here we go. We're gonna take our mixture, and we're gonna place this in the hot water. Now, if you have a double boiler, go ahead and use a double boiler, which will be a little bit faster than this. However, because we're protecting the properties of the tomato, the hollow, and the onion, you do not want to cook this. So we're simply warming it to keep all of that wonderful properties right in place, okay? So we leave it there for a few minutes. Now we're going to use about two tablespoons of cornstarch and that's more than enough. Next we're going to go and get our mixture. So we're going to take our, be careful it's going to be hot. Take this away. So here we have our cornstarch and our mixture here. So what I'm going to do I'm going to take our hot mixture, make sure to give it a stir and we're going to start by placing three tablespoons of our mixture in our cornstarch and you're going to have to move really fast with this you're going to have to start mixing and this is what it's going to look like Next, we're going to place this back in our hot water. If your water was not as hot as before, make sure to reheat the water. And you're going to keep stirring this. Just keep stirring. What is going to happen? It's going to start to get thick. Just keep stirring. And this is it. This is very warm. Keep stirring it while it's hot. Just make it nice and creamy. This is what it should look like. Now this is ready. This is about three tablespoons. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add the other ingredients. 
So I'm going to use one teaspoon of carrot seed butter. Just a teaspoon. And this is good. For almond oil, I'm using one tablespoon of almond oil. We're adding that. Our vegetable glycerin, I'm using one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. And now we're going to blend this in the mixture. Just blend. And then it's going to start to get really, really creamy. So just blend. And this is looking wonderful. Just keep blending. Now our cream is ready. And take a look at it. This is what it looks like. Now. I have some optional ingredient right here. We have some essential oil. If you have acne skin, you can go ahead and put some tea tree oil in this mixture along with some lavender oil to kick it up a notch, okay? For everyone else, you can choose to use any of your favorite essential oil to this. Personally, for me, I like to use the orange essential oil and the lavender essential oil. Remember, for acne-prone skin, use some tea tree oil. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the orange essential oil, just a little. You're gonna add this to your own liking, okay? And this also is going to help with fragrant. So we're going to mix this essential oil in. And now our cream is ready. So now we're going to pour this in our jar for storing. And I like to use glass jar. Make sure to sterilize your jars before you put your products in them. The smell of this is really wonderful, guys. Don't be afraid to use this on your entire body. This is going to help to get rid of pigmentation, acne scars, scrapes, scratches, you name it. And not only is this getting rid of scars, but guess what? Because of our carrot seed oil and our almond oil, it is fighting wrinkles and fine lines. It is also getting rid of large pores. So this is actually a perfect cream to use on your skin so now I'm gonna move on to show you how to use this wonderful goodness this is best used at night store this in your refrigerator for about 10 days you can leave this on your countertop for the first couple of days however for longer shelf life put it in your refrigerator and it will last 10 15 days or so okay now here is the spot remover cream take a look and to use this cream for best result, you need to start with clean skin. To clean your skin, you need to exfoliate your skin at least two to three times per week. Now, once your skin is totally clean, then all the pores are clean, they're open, and they're ready to drink the treatment in, okay? After washing your face, you wanna make sure to pat dry. Just pat dry the face with your wash rod. And once the face is dry, it is now ready for your treatment. Now, let's say you have your dark area on your cheek. You're going to go in, you're going to take a little of the cream, and you're going to apply it to just where you have your dark spots to begin with. Now, after using this for a couple of days, you're going to notice that the area that you apply to is getting lighter. Once that area is light enough to match the rest of your skin, then you can go ahead and use it all over your skin all over your face or all over your body it's gonna remove the spots on the blemishes for even skin tone however you need to spot treat those darker areas first with the treatment okay so here it is and go ahead and whip this up give it a week use it on your skin and then come back and leave your comment now if this was the first time watching i'm sure you want to see more of this video look below you're going to see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed now at the side there's a little bell if you already subscribe also you need to click that little bell so that each time i upload a video you will get the notification right away like as soon as i upload it you'll get a notifications for all my subscribers make sure that little bell is turned on okay thank you all for watching and i'll see you in tomorrow's video bye bye